Bitcoin with the dip right now, happening now on the charts. Is this the beginning of something bigger? Or is there micro support on the short term charts? In this video, we're going to track it live right now. Thanks for tuning in if you're in the chats. I'm really curious, everybody, to see if this is a a longer term macro move. So stay tuned and let's jump into the charts right now. Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Hit that subscribe, hit that like on the way in. I don't know if you're a live viewer or a replay viewer, but I truly appreciate your support as we grow this channel. I wanted to just, I wanted to go live right now because there are some very interesting things happening on the charts. And I think it's incredibly important to track this right now on the hourly. So here we are, this is Bitcoin on the hourly. Appreciate you, you tuning in, hit that like on the way in, and let's jump into this Bitcoin video. Let's jump into the chart. So here we go. Right now, Bitcoin, and actually I have to, I'm gonna change my screen real quick. So right now, Bitcoin, obviously, and let me just actually preface with this. It, we're down from this swing high two days ago. Bitcoin just wicked. We're we have a swing low of maybe eleven percent or so. That's really not a big deal for Bitcoin, right? We were talking in yesterday's video about what was transpiring on the charts, and you can. I'm not going to show you a clip, but this was yesterday's video. What was transpiring here? If you zoom in, Bitcoin just kind of seeing resistance along this this lower trend line. We already broke out of that blue. Uh, trend line, which is a rising channel we're going to talk about in a second. But Bitcoin kind of on it, it was on its way down, right? To a target. When I did that video, $40,600, we were on our on our way down to this target down here, right around uh, $37,000. It's like right around $37,100, however I have it charted. Um, and you can already see, I mean, give or take everybody, this isn't exact, this, this isn't exact, but I would say we hit our target, right? This wick on uh, the hourly chart, is essentially hitting hitting the target, and that's not it. it, it so I just saw somebody said this is nothing. Remain calm, and I I agree with that. And even if this continues, I, I agree with that. This is nothing. Remain calm, and that's what I want to break down for you in this in this video. I want to track this so we really get a sense of what in the world is happening. You know, all around micro, macro, the cycles of Bitcoin, what this means. So, first off, on the short term, what this means is nothing really. We broke down out of a pattern that we've been tracking. This blue rising channel in particular that you see on the screen, we broke out of it to the downside. And that actually happened two days ago, right? That was our first indicator. Um, and now we've hit our target to the downside that we've had in place, right around $37,000. And Bitcoin since then has already bounced $1,400 or so off of that, right? Maybe $1,300. Um, so what does that mean for Bitcoin? Well, I want, and, and before we actually talk about that on the macro charts, I do want to just look at this area. So last night I tweeted, altcoins pumped very similar to what's happening now in the beginning of January, euphoria all around. This was last night, altcoins were pumping. Bitcoin really wasn't doing anything. And then boom, a very quick 20% dip. This happened in the beginning of January, buddy. The same exact thing that's happening right now. If Bitcoin can make like a 2% move above the 41,300, it's game on. Otherwise, I'm keenly watching 37,000 target at the very least. And so Bitcoin was 40,600 when I tweeted that. It quickly bounced and then it quickly failed at this resistance area that we were tracking on the charts. So that's kind of what I want to look at real quick. Bitcoin failed right here at this. Fib this is the Fibonacci resistance that we were talking about in that tweet yesterday. And you can just see Bitcoin just kind of testing it over and over again and failing, right? So what that is, is the swing high from two days ago to swing low and Bitcoin failed to do a bunch of things. I mean, it didn't get back above this trend line really, right? Uh, and it just completely failed at the at this Fibonacci resistance area. So you know, this is typical in terms of Bitcoin just making a correction on the very short term. This is an hourly chart, everybody. So, you know, this is like, again, this isn't really that big of a move, but these things can transpire. These things can be, you know, we have stepping stones to the upside all the time, uh, especially in recent months, but there's also stepping stone stones to the downside, right? Over the months, we've been hitting targets to the upside like over and over again, right? And the same thing can happen on a macro level 
to the downside, right? Hitting targets to the downside over and over again. So now that we've hit our short-term target to the downside, 37,000, which we've been talking about, now that that's hit, what do we look for? The biggest thing we look for is the same thing we've been questioning just over the months. How long is this gonna go for, right? Just Bitcoin being scooped up in these dips and then continuing to the upside. The second question is, where is continued support for Bitcoin? And I want to go to a six hour chart. And this is this is probably the most important part of this video. Uh, just evaluating the, the six hour chart zoomed out so that we can kind of go back months and just really gather all the data and just see the move that Bitcoin has truly been in. Now, one thing to note before I even dive into that is if you look at this chart, Bitcoin hitting this 37,000 target now, and we talked about this in yesterday's video, Bitcoin would simultaneously really be testing this upper trend line of a separate channel that we've tracked that goes back to December. And it's a really nice support area. But beyond that, a revisit not only to that area, but within the channel is just very much common for Bitcoin in terms of patterns, pattern breakouts. Uh, throwbacks to those patterns happen all the time. And what this looks like is a kind of a more midterm Fibonacci retracement. It still would be, in my opinion, nothing. Um, but this is a potential support area. If this continues to watch for, I think it's very important to watch for this area. And that area, and I'm going to I'm going to break this down why this is an area is right here. On, and let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it. But we're looking at this. Uh, it's a Fibonacci support area. It's 34,600 right down to 32,600. That's a support area. I want to break it down for you right now. Um, if you're just joining us, appreciate you cruising by. Man, we got 1,600 people in here. Hit that like button. Uh, let's try and get some momentum with this live stream. And I really, I really, really appreciate it. So this is, this is the breakdown, right? Bitcoin has just been just cruising over the months. But along the way, we've used Fibonacci retracement pretty successfully on the midterm charts, the very short-term charts. We've been covering hourly charts like crazy lately. Um, but what does it look like? This is what it looks like. Here's here's kind of this first swing low in November to a swing high, right? Bitcoin. And let me zoom in so we can actually just, as I'm tracking this, you can see this better because I know that's probably annoying. So swing low to swing high, Bitcoin, you know, boom, back down, right? And this was this was a dip. And just to give you an idea, this was a swing high of like almost 16,000 down to 14,000. And this was kind of right when Bitcoin was breaking into the bull market, the macro bull market doors. So this was a 10% dip for Bitcoin and Bitcoin continued to the upside. Now, again, Bitcoin from this new swing low here to this swing high, Bitcoin, did the same thing, right? A revisit to Fibonacci support, hits it, kind of tests it for a little bit. That's like a day or so, a little bit over a day, tests it, and then continues to the upside again. Now that dip, we were looking at right around a total dip of around 15, 16%. So that happened. Now let's zoom out a little bit and then watch what happened. And this is kind of when we broke through $20,000. Bitcoin just like was just overextended. Bitcoin was going crazy and we weren't getting these, these revisits to even support on the Fibonacci retracement, right? Here's a swing low. And then if you, if you take the Fibonacci retracement to try and find a support area that Bitcoin might consolidate to, it just doesn't happen, right? Here's a swing high. Bitcoin just traded sideways. But even if you take it to this swing high, Bitcoin didn't come anywhere near testing support. There's just been so much buying pressure, so much upward momentum ever since we broke $20,000. Now, again, uh, we can take this consolidation area to this swing high. Bitcoin, it consolidated a little, but still didn't even come down to that Fibonacci retracement support area. Um, now, most recently, though, you can take this swing low, this consolidation area, to this swing high, and we did right? We did put in a nice, a nice dip, actually. Bitcoin finally testing a midterm kind of six hour chart, Fibonacci support, 20% dip, but bounced off of that area. Now, what we're looking for is, is we're going to speculatively track the next move for Bitcoin. And what does that next move for Bitcoin look like? A potential revisit to an exact uh, Fibonacci support area. And the question will be like, are we going to get that revisit? 
successfully, which we have, which we have multiple times going back. I just demonstrated, uh, or is Bitcoin actually going to just keep overextending itself and not even give us a revisit? This move right now up here is not that big of a move. Bitcoin hasn't tested any type of midterm support, and we're looking at a swing low from January fourth to this previous swing high around forty-two thousand dollars or so, and we're coming back down to this area now. And this is the this is the Fibonacci retracement I really want to talk about, and it is right around thirty three thousand. Let's call it one hundred dollars to thirty thousand eight hundred dollars. So that area is going to be extremely interesting on the midterm if Bitcoin can test it, because Bitcoin would be throwing back as we just talked about to this uh, rising channel that we talked about. But it's also going to be wicking into a very key Fibonacci support area. And, and it would be very interesting to see a six hour candle come anywhere near this $33,100 area. Um, are we going to get just this huge buying that, that occurred in this wick on this six hour and that last dip, the 20% dip? To give you an idea of what a dip like that would be from this previous swing high, we're looking at a dip of around 20 to 27% dip. Now we're getting into that territory that we've kind of talked about for a while, which is, dude, are we going to get those 30% dips, those 40% dips? We did get a 20% dip and it happened very quick, right? Most recently, I mean, this wasn't long ago, it's like a week ago, 20% dip. So the reality of a uh, you know, 20 to 27% dip is just very much in play over the course of the next next couple days, next few days. And that is that is the case for Bitcoin to continue to the downside. It's very simple. It's as simple as that. That now that's not bearish, everybody. That is 100 percent just what Bitcoin does. And I know it's a little bit more harsh of a throwback, right? It's a pretty big dip, but it's completely commonplace for Bitcoin. And and just kind of removing the percentage of what that dip looks like, it would be uh completely harmonious with these bullish moves that Bitcoin has been making since November, right? And and essentially since we broke through $10,000. And that is simple. It's just hitting a swing high, coming to a Fibonacci retracement, hitting swing high, coming to Fibonacci retracement. Um, you know, what was it? Hitting swing high, coming to a Fibonacci retracement. And it would be hitting a swing high, coming to a Fibonacci retracement support. And these are all support areas for continuation. I'm talking about a 25% dip on average right here. And I'm sure to a lot of you, it might sound a little bit bearish, but it's it's funny because as I'm like presenting it, as I'm looking at these cases for Bitcoin to make a dip like that, it actually is so bullish to me. And the reason it's bullish is because when you have something like Bitcoin on its way to price discovery, on its way uh, at the beginning of a bull market, I should re I should remind you we are at the beginning of a bull market. This is just beginning. I mean, Bitcoin just broke into the bull market in November, and when you have the supply, uh, uh, you know, through PayPal users alone, the new supply of Bitcoin like 900 a day being being scooped up, not even counting retail, you know, outside of that and institutional and everything happening in the world right now, a 25% a, a consolidation area is kind of like. It's, it's just a short-term reset button, everybody. And that's that's bullish to me. And so these moves don't concern me at all. They're very fun to track, especially on the hourly, like what's happening right now. And it's gonna be really interesting. And this is what I'm watching in literally the just next 24 hours. Is Bitcoin actually just gonna, you know, at the, all at the beginning of this rising channel, Bitcoin just didn't, it didn't come back down to these key support areas, right? It just kept like, it, it dipped a little and consolidated a little, but then it just kept going. And that's the question now, is it gonna come back down to a, a support area? Or is that actually just gonna be like, no, it's gonna get scooped up right here and actually keep going. That's fun to watch for me. And we're gonna to continue to watch that. One thing I do wanna to note to all of you, and dude, we got 3,300, thank, thank you for 3,300 people right now. You are all tracking this. We're, we're just going crazy trying to figure out what Bitcoin's doing. We're in it together, everybody. Hit that like if you're here right now. So. Here's the daily chart. I talked about this in yesterday's video, and I want to I want to show you something very similar on the weekly chart, which is overextension, overextension from the daily. You know, Bitcoin right now it's like 60% or so overextended from the daily moving average. I call it this this ocean that Bitcoin's in. It's all 
all in here. It's like a dolphin, especially in a bull market where it's just like, it's just up, maybe revisiting, just diving in and out of the ocean. And if you zoom out on the daily chart, what I talked about really in yesterday's video is we've been here before. Bitcoin, and there, there might be a lot of new people here that are in just like, just getting into Bitcoin. And I just, I think it's really powerful illustration just to realize that Bitcoin has been here before. This isn't like anything new for Bitcoin. Um, it's 62% overextended right now. Just to give you an idea, at the top of the last bull market, it was actually like, you know, almost 100% overextended. And if you go back all the way back to 2013, it was even more overextended. Bitcoin was going crazy. Look at Bitcoin in 2013 uh, in relation to the 50-day moving average. Bitcoin was going crazy. Now, the dilemma that you have, that everybody has, that the analysts on CNBC have, that I have, the dilemma is we don't know if we're going to get, you know, maybe a hundred percent overextension and then a, and then maybe a big correction. So a hundred percent overextension from the fifty day moving average to fifty thousand, and then maybe some true consolidation pull like pulling back into that that fifty day moving average a little bit. Or is it going to be like two thousand thirteen and we're getting like way more overextension and then we're finding ourselves in the seventy thousand plus area, right? Because back here in two thousand thirteen, Bitcoin was just I mean, look at this. Bitcoin was a hundred and almost two hundred percent overextended, right? So that's the dilemma. The dilemma is very simple. Nobody knows, but the possibilities on the screen are endless. And so that re that always brings us to the same exact point in terms of well, what do we do? And that is, you analyze the data on the screen. You look at the possibilities. You look at what. 200% overextension on the daily means and looks like in terms of price of Bitcoin. And then you look at the possibilities of Bitcoin dipping into the 50 day moving average, into the 20,000s, right? To give you an idea, Bitcoin right now, the 50 day moving average, let me zoom in here. And this is, this is like awesome. The 50 day moving average is pulled up all the way to $24,000 now, everybody. That's insane. Just to give you an idea, in October, the 50 day moving average was $10,000. We have so much cushion, right? As this bull market starts. So now that we are in between these two areas, right? Bitcoin's like, man, which way is it gonna go? And there's nobody that can tell you. There's no YouTuber that can just literally tell you exactly what's gonna happen next. We can tell you what we think, the supply shock of Bitcoin, price predictions of 100,000 plus. But now that we're here and the possibilities are endless, you analyze the data, you make your decisions, what you're comfortable with and your risk tolerance, because literally everybody's unique, everybody's different. So uh, what I wanted to do was kind of go to the weekly chart and show you the same thing on the weekly, because I think it's really powerful, if not more powerful than that daily. So let me actually chart the, the histogram. So it's like a green ocean this time, I guess. But right now, Bitcoin overextended 135%. If you can see on the screen, Bitcoin overextended 135% uh, on the on the 20. It's a 20 day moving average, right? So, um, and hold on a second. If you now, what I want to show you, same thing with the daily, the 50 day moving average back in the bull market high, 2017, 186% overextended. Just let's speculate, right? If Bitcoin overextends itself 186% right now, we're at around uh, a $50,000 Bitcoin, right? Now let's scroll back even more and let's go back here. <laughs> and this is where it gets crazy. Bitcoin in you know, 2013 overextended uh, 500 plus percent, 450 percent. So again, the possibilities are endless to the upside. But what we're looking for, and this is something that I wanted to say in this, when I was kind of prepping to do this, I wanted to just make a statement. And the statement is this, Bitcoin has never just kept going. Bitcoin, if you look at the history of Bitcoin, all here, right? This is going back, this chart goes back to 2012, actually 2011. Bitcoin has always at some point touched back down to the 20 week moving average, the green area. And I truly think there are some people out there that thinks that think that Bitcoin will just never at the very least even consolidate. 
and it's just off to a million dollars right now. And the thing that the thing that's tough about that is those dips that will come, whether it's a twenty percent dip on the hourly chart or a forty percent dip on the daily chart, they're going to hurt those people mentally because it's going to be like a shock to them. Like, how's this happening? And then if it if it continues to happen, right? If we continue to get huge dips and Bitcoin truly does consolidate into the 20 week moving average, the green channel, they're not gonna be prepared to potentially buy those dips in the bull market. Because just to note, look at Bitcoin hitting this 20 week moving average area, right? And actually continuing still to the upside. Same thing in the last bull market, hitting the 20 week moving average and continuing to the upside. So just because we're talking about Bitcoin somehow finally meeting the 20 week moving average and it could happen somewhere you know in the 30,000s like it doesn't have to ha have to happen right now i'm not saying bitcoin's going to dip right now all the way to the 20 week moving average i don't think that's going to happen but always look for consolidation into it because there's never been a time where bitcoin kept going and that's probably the biggest thing we should all remember um, but even now as i do this video if you look at the weekly candle the weekly candle doesn't even look bad for bitcoin it really doesn't and uh, things truly are very bullish for Bitcoin at the end of the day. So Bitcoin right now, if we go all the way back here on the hourly chart, it hit its target. We're getting a bounce. It's going to be really interesting to see what happens for Bitcoin now that Bitcoin has uh, hit its target. What I will do is I'll go back, I'll revisit, and I will basically uh, look for a new structure here on the hourly charts. Um, probably continue using these trend lines we have. They're very key areas in terms of resistance. If Bitcoin is to get a big a big bounce to the upside uh, from that swing low, just to give you an idea, a bounce back to that trend line would be a, a 20% bounce, right? Um, so that's you know that's going to be something interesting to see. Literally today, Sunday, as we go into this day to see what Bitcoin does. Um, but remember. When Bitcoin's in an uptrend, we always look for Bitcoin to kind of consolidate a little bit uh, before explosive move up, consolidate up, consolidate up, consolidate. Like So it's going to be interesting to see the new trend of Bitcoin because if Bitcoin now hits its target and right now is consolidating, but now getting ready for an explosive move down, that's what you need to prepare for. And it's best illustrated on the six hour chart. Uh, and it's also best to say it's not something I'd really be concerned about. Somebody in a comment yesterday on YouTube recommended uh, I put a line at every $5,000 move for Bitcoin. That's what those blue lines are. I had a yellow line at every $1,000 move and it was just so messy looking. So thank you for that suggestion. I think it looks good on the screen. And as we kind of break through, we've broken through $20,000 we continue to look for consolidation in between these these five thousand dollar moves and it's normal uh, and it's very commonplace for bitcoin to do so very commonplace for bitcoin if it's going to dip to this fibonacci retracement and if you're new here i want to chart it real quick it's that last 20 percent dip swing low to our previous swing high and we have a support area for bitcoin thirty three thousand you know 100 33,200 down to thirty thousand eight hundred dollars Continuation to the downside and move like that again from where we are right now, 15 to 20% move. Not that big of a deal. So appreciate all of you cruising by. We're going to track this. Um, I'm, I'm going to go through, look at, I, I, I don't know if I didn't see any, I, I think I saw a super chat, but I missed it and I, I couldn't read it. But if any super chats came in, I just want to thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate everybody in the comments. Uh, there's dude, there's just a ton of you and you know, I really appreciate you as we try and grow this YouTube channel, trying to get to 100,000 before before Bitcoin. Um, and I'm trying to hustle everybody. So if you super chatted, thank you. I want to let you know the super chats, they go to uh, where we donate them to WEQNT, which is a Cardano uh, pool for staking purpose driven Cardano stake pool, providing free solar lighting bulbs to the poor in Africa. So if you have Cardano and you're staking, they take parts of their profits and they actually uh, provide bulbs. Look at the video right here. And it's just an awesome mission for God. So glory to God, uh, but it's purpose driven and making moves. And that's what I think we should be doing in this crypto space. Not just, not just making money, uh, but making moves for eternal purpose for God. And that's what I'm all about, everybody. So I appreciate you all cruising by. 
Uh, glory to Jesus for what D W E Q N T is doing. Um, and let's keep tracking Bitcoin. We're going to keep tracking. If you're not on Twitter, get on Twitter, follow me, Crypto Recruiter, Crypto Capital Venture, and we'll break it down for you all uh, as Bitcoin continues to move. Everybody on the way out, just pound that like, hit that subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I'll see you all in the next video. Have an awesome Sunday and God bless.